What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and the Norwich City career mode on FIFA 22. This is season 2 and now episode 2 as well. In the first one, it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. A transfer decision. Votes were made by you guys and you have decided the fate of Milot Rashika. Here are the votes. It is closed now and it is official. Milot Rashika will be staying with Norwich, you guys decided that the offer from Milan with cash and a player, the player being Jens Petter Hog, a very good Norwegian international. You guys, you don't want that. So we're going to reject that. I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to try and make Milot Rashika a Norwich legend. A deal that could go through today. Ben Gibson potentially leaving the club. 29 now. We're looking to bring in younger defenders. Our business is nowhere near done. Between now and deadline day, we need to bring in two, maybe even three players. That will be in this episode. So three more players joining the club during this episode. But before we get into more transfer business, it's time to start the season. Away from home, a massive clash against West Ham United. We need to start the season off well. So this will be the starting 11. The normal one from last season, just a few players we signed coming in. Agudelo, a free agent, comes into the midfield. Norman back into DM. Chowdhury on the bench. Barrios, another free agent, coming at left back. Jean Luis was brilliant for us last year, but he will be on the bench. And as well as that, a big money sun in at the back. Corsornu, he comes in to partner. Pascal Strike, Kabak. Went back to Schalke from his loan deal. Kosonu is his replacement. On the bench, our youth academy lad, Kai King. He's getting better and better. He's 75 overall now, and he's just 18. And as well, a striking option. He's developing into a striker. Hopefully, be two or three weeks away. But Corne could be a fantastic striker behind the Egyptian king, Mustafa Mohamed. Let's talk him from me. Whew. Here comes the Premier League. All eyes apparently on Declan Rice, age 23, playing for West Ham, wants to get himself into a Champions League side. He's been linked with a move away. To who, I do not know. I can guarantee you, though, it will not be here at Norwich. Full capacity, though, today at the London Stadium. Forever blowing bubble bubbles? Bubbles? But we are here to burst those bubbles. Jared Bowen, West Ham, got a really strong side, as we know from last season. Vlaovic up front, deadly finisher. He scored against us last season as well. And Kasornu's first touch as a Norwich player is in the opposing half. Barrios, Aguadelo now, space here even for Cantwell. Can he slide it to the man that was going to leave us? Oh, Rashika does score, but he's offside. He's just realised... Rashiko, we may sign him on a new deal, give him some more money, boost up that contract for him. He's offside, VAR called it. Millimetres off. Very unlucky. Deserved to be 1 0 up from that. Aaron's. Want him to get forward this season as he did last year. Campwell's pass intercepted. Agadelo picks it up. Back to Campwell. Norman was a superstar for us last year. He's now our captain. Campwell. A good day low now. Barrios. Back to Campwell. In here to Jolis. We want to get more goals with this season. Pulls it across. There's players in there. It's a big save. And it's from Rashika again. A really nice move. A great header. And a top stop. 25 minutes gone. It's 0-0. We should be 2-0 up. We deserve to be. Vlasic. West Ham coming forward. One of their first real attacks of the game, 30 minutes in. Vlaovic, oh, Kosornu, top defending, but poor passing. Something that we're going to need to develop is his passing. I did notice that in his stats, but defensively, he's going to be rock solid, I feel, this year. Aaron's is taken out there, but he's got it to Rashika. Cantwell, slide it to a deadly striker. Mustafa Mohamed! Wow! No chance for the keeper there. No, we take the lead. Three big chances. The third one, we've taken it. That is a lethal finish from the Premier League's hottest Egyptian. Move to the side, Mohamed Salah. We've got Mustafa Mohamed 
He's at number seven, and he's a superstar. Bullet of a hit. One nil up at West Ham. Come on, you Canaries. Out wide again with Bowen. He's been their main threat, I would have to say. Kufal gets forward well. Sulshek, Declan Rice. Vlahovic, good ball that. Great ball. Good goalkeeping from Tim Krull. A lot of people have said maybe replace Tim Krull, but I think one more season for Tim Krull. He deserves a chance to play with us in the Europa Conference League, and then maybe the season after we invest heavy in a top, top keeper. But Krull's got a clean sheet at the minute. Half-time, we lead 1-0. Aaron's Campwell on the ball. Agadello now. Zolli shoots! Nearly two early in that second half. Really good play. It stemmed from Max Aaron's picking out a really nice pass. And we're on it again here. Agadello. Mustafa Mohamed out wide. Rashika puts a good ball in the box. Zolis wins the header. Doesn't get the direction on it. Still 1-0 up. We've had a lot of chances. Could we live to regret them still? Zolis. Good ball that. To Campwell, if he can find Rashika, we're looking dangerous here. Rashika's got time to pick his shot. Rashika picks his spot, does that to perfection, and we do double our lead. He's here to stay, he's here to be a legend. Great finish from the number 17, Milo to Rashika. We have a 2 0 lead. I think we'll see this one through, guys. West Ham. They're not at the races. They're not as sharp as we are on opening day. And we have the lead 2-0. And to be fair, it could be a lot worse. Jared Bowen for West Ham. Still trying to get them up the pitch. Without him, they wouldn't really have any chances. Declan Rice is through! Opened up far too easy for my liking. West Ham are back in it. 64 minutes played, just over the hour mark. And Moise's boys are back in it. Their captain, Declan Rice. We're opened up too easy there. It's just a few passes. It's Pascal Struick. Doesn't really close down Rice. Way too much space. Triple change. Corne coming on for Mustafa Mohamed. Cantwell off as well for Kai King. And in the midfield, Chowdhury on for Agudelo. I did that before we conceded. Now a bit concerned because there's still a lot of time to go. And it's game on. Pablo for now is on the ball. A really good player. I did scout him, but I think it would cost about 35 million to bring him. It's not going to be affordable for us at the moment. Ten minutes to go. Can we counter Corne? Kai King is looking to release Rashika. Who will then look to put it across towards Corne! On his debut off the bench! Maxwell Kune, signed from Burnley, scores for Norwich. A number 23 for the season, gets a debut goal. 3-1. That has to have killed the game. West Ham was starting to threaten again. I was concerned it was going to be 2-2. But just like that, 3-1. And three points should be coming home with Norwich City. Okay, boys, entering, what, the 90th minute now. How long's left? Two additional minutes. West Ham they need to score two just to get themselves a point from today. That's not going to happen. Fantastic performance. Very happy with the result. That, my friends, is how you start a Premier League season. Kosonu, great debut. Barrios, fantastic debut. Aguadelo, so impressed. And off the bench, Maxwell Kulne with a debut goal. Today ends 3-1. Super impressed. Get in there, boys. Fantastic win to start this season. And we've got now some good news outside of the football pitch. This one coming in through the ballroom. A really positive sign. We're moving on. Some older players. Ben Gibson leaves. He goes to play in Spain for Granada. We get some cash in. We can go out and get ourselves a young, high-potential centre-back. And some more good news, this time coming through the pitch. One of our new players scored on his debut. He is fully trained up in his new position. He is now a striker. He's bumped up to his 78 overall, just like that. We're going to put him on mobile. Actually, no, complete striker to improve his finishing. Hopefully, we can burst through that dynamic potential that we get on FIFA 22. 
Next game, who have we got in the Premier League? Wow, huge game then at home. First home game of the season up against Liverpool. That one's going to be extremely tough. But before we do that, let's go sign a new, young centre-back. Okay, guys, we've been looking across the borders. We've been looking into the Everdeze. We've been looking at this guy, Om Rajik, coming in from Ajax. Hopefully, we can get him under, I think, five, maybe even under four million if we're lucky. Going to go in at 3.9 million and we'll add a nice little 6% sell on clause to the deal for Bessia Om Rajik. There we go. Thought that would be enough to get our man contracts to be signed next. And we've got a very good young centre-back to come into the club. I did have a backup option as well. Someone that I'm going to keep my eye on. Sepp Van Den Berg of Liverpool. But uh, Besser on Magic was always my first choice. Let's get his contract done and we can confirm another signing. And that will leave one, maybe two more signs to come in before deadline day in today's episode if you're enjoying so far please do smash that like button subscribe if you're new as well as that guys get your comments in i want to hear what you think of the season so far do you like the signs we've made the decisions that have been confirmed as well a four-year deal for the young man no release clause his wage shouldn't be an issue i'll offer him 9k and 200k as well to sign hopefully that will be enough there we go it's reasonable and it gets the deal done. Om Rajik, high potential, hopefully high quality. Thiago of Liverpool linked with a move to Arsenal. Now that would be a surprise if that one went through. I mean, he must be, what, in his 30s now in this career mode. 32, I would say, but still a fantastic player. Liverpool, full of them. We're going to have to have a special performance today. To break them down. Virgil van Dijk at the back. But we have Todd Cantwell. Todd Cantwell on his day. Can unlock any door. Can he unlock though? The Liverpool door. Oh go on Agudelo. It's great play lad. Go on son. Slide it. Jolis inside. Jolis. Oh it's a great chance. Mustafa Mohamed. Oh he's hit the post. Early chance for one Egyptian king, the one that plays for the Canaries. It's normally so clinical, it's a tight angle, all he could do hit the post. We nearly scored from the initial shot from Jolis as well, good save from Alison Becker. Ten minutes in, again, good early start from us. Sadio Mane on the ball, tricky customer, we know how good he is. Mane now bursting into the penalty area, Kasornu. Great challenge, son. Really well done. And he has the presence as well to ping it out to Aaron's. That's Barrios who gives it away. It's going to come straight back into the defence. Kasorna looking to defend again. We haven't done. Krull stops their Egyptian king, Mohamed Salah. This time with a chance for Liverpool. After 18 minutes to go, 1-0 up. Thiago loses to Campwell. Can we make this an effective counter-attack? I'm going to look to set away. Rashika, he's gone offside. It looked like he got himself back on there. I'm not sure about that one. Wow, he was offside. He was just, just. Canate, Henderson, Liverpool starting to take a bit of a stranglehold on the ball now. And you know what follows that. This is Fabinho. Pulls it back. Thiago. Fancy back heel. Henderson. Good one-two play from Liverpool. Breaks down at the last. Good defending. We may be able to get away here on a counter-attack. Liverpool highly exposed here. We've got to make this count. We have. We are looking deadly on the counter-attack already this year. Liverpool have turned up at Carrow Road. Thinking they can push right up the pitch. They've been caught out, haven't they? Jolis, the goal scorer. We need more goals from him this season. He's got one already just in two games. We lead Liverpool. Wow. What could this season mean for Norwich City? Thiago to Robertson. I thought they had Jota up front. 
but it is actually Gerard Moreno, I think, up front. He's on the ball here. Back to Fabinho. Good tackle, Agredello. We're working back as best we can. Fabinho slides it through. Good save by Tim Crew again. When we've needed him this season already, just in the first two games, he's popped up with a few good stops. That one was a very good one because he didn't have much time to react. Short corner to Salah. He's done me there. He sold me for a bucket of chips. And it's into Van Dyke, who's lost possession. And again, Liverpool high up the pitch. This is madness from Liverpool. What are they playing at? What a pass. What a pass. Mustafa Mohamed. He's le listened to the call. He's left it for the Cantwell. Thank God he did. These tactics from Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp are out. Outrageous. They're outrageous. And we are outrageously in a 2-0 lead. I can't believe it. I am in shock. 2-0 against Liverpool. Wow. 38 minutes played. Carra Road is buzzing. The away section. Stunned. Into Aguidello. He's been really good as well. Cantwell, can we get that out again? I'm on side here. Liverpool all over the place. All over the place! Oh, what a chance! Missed by a lethal finisher we have. Head in hands. Mustafa Mohamed. You've got to bury it. You bury that. You bury Liverpool. Wow. This is Matthias Norman. Good pass to Barrios. It's always an option. Barrios, though, losing out there to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Fabinho back out wide towards Trent. This could be deadly. He knows he can pick out a top quality ball. He has Mane. Tim Krul again. Keeping our clean sheet alive. What a save that is. Great ball in. Couldn't have got that header any better. What a save that is, son. What a save. We are making changes, and so are Liverpool. Owls off of fitness. Triple change. Campwell, Mustafa Mohamed, Agudelo off. Kai King, Corne, and Chowdhury on. Henderson off. Captain Henderson off. And Naby Keita comes on for Liverpool. 72 minutes. Can Liverpool get anything from this? What a start to the season it would be. Two from two would be great. And Barrios again. Good tackle. Gets it forward. We may be on another counter. Kai King. We are on another counter. He's just got to get it here to Corne. He's just got to finish. He's just got to finish. Three goals. No reply from the Red Arrows. Corne off the bench again. Is lethal. That's a great ball. I think that was Kai King's pass. And that was Corne's finish. And that is game over for Liverpool. Three goals in back-to-back -back games today. Just to beat the West Ham game, we need the clean sheet. And, uh, wow, Liverpool, they are rattled. Salah picks the ball up. Four minutes to go, surely. Even with Liverpool's standards to get three goals. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Early season woes for Liverpool. Early season ecstasy, though, for Norwich. Defended by Kasornu. Great again. Keita! Krull has pulled out two or maybe even three top saves. That would have been a ridiculous goal. But that is a super save from a super keeper. I've loved Tim Krull. Throughout the seasons, and Gerard Moreno has had not his best game off for little Minamino, or mini Minamino, you could say. Ball in the box. Barrios heads away. It's a poor corner as well. Liverpool have been shocking. Really bad. Salah. Way below par from him. Strike heads away. Referee. Full time whistle, please. And thank you. And thank you. Oh, kind sir, yes. Thank you. That was a epic performance. Now, this season could be better than I thought. Last year, we got Conference League by the skin of our teeth. The only reason we got it is because Spurs finished in the top four and won a domestic cup. So it trickled down to us. I think we was in seventh place. This year, I want to get in the top five. Might even try and push for the top four. 
this season started really well. Really well. I am so happy with that win over Liverpool. Now, transfer business. Back on our mode. Back on our mode? Back on our mind. Transfer business back on our mind. Raul Sociedad have come in with a part exchange offer. This one for Todd Cantwell. I'm not even going to bother asking what I want to do with this one. Decent player they're offering. 28 years of age though. 19 million pounds is his worth. Um, Elistondondo. Or Elistondo. I'm going to reject that one. It's not for me. Not a player we're interested in. So Campbell's going nowhere. This one's more interesting. Jean-Louis. 26 years of age. 77 overall. We have a young man called Sam McCallum. Who's 21. And he's 73 overall. And he's from England as well. So it fits the English quota. So I would be willing to let Jean-Louis go. Because McCallum then can have more game time. And also this will give us more money to spend on potentially deadline day. They've offered 10.2 mil. I think we can get more than that. Let's go in and negotiate. Jean-Louis is great for us last year, but we need to constantly evolve the team, constantly improve it. If we can get a little bit more money for him, say 12 and a half, I'd let that go. They're saying 10.2. Can we squeeze? Can we squeeze more out of David Moyes? How about 11 and a half? A Moisey boy. 11 and a half. Price set. Price matched. Can that deal be finalised in the next few days? If it can, it's going to give us more money for deadline day. And uh, we don't really need to sign another left back because I said Sam McCallum. He'll be used as back on Barrios. It's been great so far. And next game, we need him to be great in as well, is against West Brom away from home. Newly promoted West Brom and Jalbion back into the Premier League. After the first two wins, I expect us to win this one, to be honest. Pressure's probably more on us. Mustafa Mohamed missed a big chance in that last game, but it was really good still. But Corne off the bench twice has scored, but can he do it from the start? He'll be starting today's game, and then the bench will be ready if we need it. Let's go then. Next up, we have West Brom. All right then, back at the Hawthorns, a well-known Premier League stadium. West Brom, though, recent years. Been yo-yoing between the divisions, a little bit like Norwich previous to our arrival. West Brom will be looking to stay in the Premier League for as long as possible. We are moving beyond that. We are looking to stay in Europe as long as possible this season. Let's do this today, guys, in the Premier League. Three points is all that matters. How good has this guy been at the back so far? Kosornu. I mean, the players we've signed so far have been exceptional for us. Barrios, he's allowed us to sell Jean-Louis, who I never thought I would sell, to be honest. But Barrios is so good. And Sam McCallum looks good as well. We don't need him. And in midfield, Aguadelo. He's come in. He's been brilliant. He's on the ball here. This is out towards Jolis. Going to put one across. It's going to drop to corner, maybe. Oh, heavy blow. Jolis, touch. Bang. Blocked. But already, little openings in that West Brom defence. What will they offer today, though, going forwards? So far this season, we've dealt with whatever's come at us. Snodgrass on it. This is their first attack. Loose ball. Pascal strike at the back. Solid. We've played really well from out the back now. And we could be opening them up yet. What a pass that is. Rashika. Go on, sign. Go for goal! Flashes wide. See that from one end to the other. Back straight to the other end. Rashika with a big effort. Whew, that would have been a big goal as well. Rashika on the ball. Lots of space in front of him. Running in the green. Campwell. A good day low. Out wide. Barrios. Can he get a good ball in? It's looking decent. It's cleared again. Win the heller. Adeguela Delo does. Campwell shoots. Drags it wide. Bruh. What? What's he been booked for, ref? What has he been booked for? Ah. Yeah. Cornet into Campwell. I could set away Jolis here. I have set away Jolis here. Guadello's just picked up a yellow. And Jolis has just picked up a goal. Norwich won. West Brom nil. It's all becoming a bit of a routine for us in this first episode of the new season. 
It's our second episode of the new season, but our first episode with gameplay in it. The new Premier League season has started in this episode, and it started with a freaking bang. We're 1-0 up. Lots of work to do, though, still. West Brom, hard to break down. Then uh, some of the opponents today. Jolis, 2-3. and three. He's the man with the goals at the minute. He's looking good. Agadello's on a yellow card. So, he will be coming off at some point. Jolis, Rashika, pulls it back. Kulde's header! Good header as well. Top save from Sam Johnson. He doesn't really know what's going on with the West Brom defence. It's not marking at all. What a header that is. That is going in. Another corner for us here. We'll stick with it. Rashika in. Big boys up there! We didn't score all season from corners in season one. Three games in. We scored one in season two. A Pascal strike. That is a good corner. That was right on his head. That's a great header as well. We are well deserving of a 2-0 lead here. West Brom still playing championship level stuff. We're playing top Premier League stuff. To be honest with you, it's a top header. Pascal strike on the score sheet. Two goals to nil. 62 minutes then. Changes. Three from us again to keep that fitness high. Placheta, Mustafa Mohamed and Hamza Chowdhury all entering the play today. Can they have an influence on it? At the minute, we're 2-0 up and uh, it could get better. Campwell on here. We're in behind it again. In behind again. Mustafa Mohamed is a heavy touch. But he's hit the post. Oh, I was going to say, but he has the finish. He has a heavy touch and he didn't have the finish. 66 minutes gone. Should have been three. Should have been three. Two minutes to go. Campwell, is there another goal in it for us? Chowdhury with a long range up. Way too much power. Not enough accuracy. But 89 minutes played. Probably just a few minutes added on. This season, we have been outstanding so far. And uh, the levels we have produced in the opening three games, I'm going to expect all season long, to be honest. As we get the ball back, West Brom have not been up to task today. As were Liverpool. West Ham, the only team that really frightened me for a little while at any point during the match. But today's game was over very, very quickly. 2-0. Another clean sheet. Now, deadline day. It's very close. Here we are then, boys. Jean-Louis has been sold. He has gone now. And he's at West Ham. So he may have him against us later in the season. Uh, looking at a young player we do have who I'd like to see get some growth this year. If we can grow him at all, it would be great. Josh Martin, he'll get some game time probably in the Conference League and in the uh, Cup games early rounds as well. So he won't be leaving the club. It's just a position change for him. He's been changed from a left mid. I believe we've moved him to a left winger. We have, and uh, hopefully that can help him increase his overall throughout the season. That's fine. Cantwell as well. Developing nicely, as always. And number 10. We're in the number 14, though. Uh, we're going to put him as a shadow striker. See if that can improve. He's hit a bit of a ceiling, though, at the moment. Player chats. Corne saying thank you for playing me. Great performance, lad, as you have been since you signed. And here we are. Deadline day. 10 hours to go, then, boys. And we have some deals we want to get done now. Just looking at the fir first 11 here. It's incredible. I'm very happy with it. It's playing higher levels than what I expected. And um, it's only going to get better. The bench is very good as well. We've got some very good players on our bench. McCallum, I was speaking about earlier. He'll probably come to the bench ahead of on about a delay. Um, I was looking to get rid of a few of these keepers. But they haven't gone through. Although, still got some time in deadline day. I still feel, though, being in Europe, we need to pack out the squad a little more. Just a little more. If we get any injuries going to need maybe an extra top midfielder in there who can come in from game to game so we go into our short list and as well as that we've got Placheta on the bench he's our, our wide player who I don't have much faith in to be honest with you so Vandenberg for now don't need another centre back however these players I have shortlisted because I've seen you guys in the comment sections Ritsu Doan he has been a very positive comment I can see so Potentially move for him on deadline day, but that would cost us a bomb, up to £27 million. Although, this may be able to be done, because Conor Gallagher and Billy Gilmore, who we had on loan last year, 
both available for loan. Do we go and get Conor Gallagher, someone a bit different, someone who's been brilliant in real life for Crystal Palace on loan? Or do we go with the man who is playing at Norwich in real life at the moment and has been on loan with us already? I am very tempted to go in and get Gallagher because it's something different. If we can get Gallagher on loan, we've got like 40 million, I think. So we could go get Ritsu Doen as well on this deadline day. First deal I want to look at, though, is can we get Gallagher on a loan deal? Looks like we can. Looks like we can, boys. I'm not going to do a loan to buy. I'm just going to do basic loan. I'm not sure if I'd want him any longer than one year. They're happy to do a one-year deal. We want a 50-50 split of the wages. Chelsea are happy with it. Looks like that deal has been done. That was pretty simple. Just got to wait for the answer from the player. And then we'll know if Conor Gallagher joins us. So we'll advance the time here. And then we'll look at our, our other options, which is Doan at the minute. is a player that I'd like to bring in. Uh, to come in and replace Plachetta, who hasn't quite got it, has he? He has been loaned in. It's a very good loan deal. He'll certainly get some game time. Just catching my breath there. Um, eight hours to go then. You can see, look, 29 million we've spent, but 36 million we've bought in by getting rid of all those dead wood players. We've got 45 million pounds to spend. Ritsu Doan. Do we go and get him? Or do we save the money for January? Should we need it? Do we give Plachetta until January? Yes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove Doan. I'm going to remove Gilmore. I know I saw a comment that was pretty well liked. But we can always come back in for him in January. I think. I'm going to hold off now. No more signings. In January though. We're going to have a big lump of money. So we can invest in the really top talent and offering here for Tim Krull maybe we could use that money in January for a keeper if we don't need to get a winger but winger is looking like the option we're probably going to go with we're going to reject that not enough time really to get out another keeper six hours to see if we get any more interesting offers West Ham making some signings of, as we know Jean-Louis has gone there Monnier one of our youth academy keepers that we brought in to be our number two but we've still got all the other keepers I was trying to get rid of so do you know what a, um, a loan deal a straight loan with no option would be okay. I'd be pretty happy to get him off the books for a loan and uh, keep his overall growing as well because he'll only be sitting on the bench for us to be fair. Three hours to go. Some deals still going through. I'm about to delay a loan. An option to buy. I'll be open to um, a loan with no option, just a loan. Uh, and then if we do need to we can always recall him that money deal they're happy to just do it alone so I'm going to accept that just on the players end now two hours to go boys anything else going to go through on this deadline day we've got a really good deal getting Conor Gallagher <laughs> a deal that we're never going to accept get a life we already rejected a deal from West Brom Athletic Bill Bow come in for our youth academy boy Kai King going no nowhere Absolutely not. You guys, I think, would go insane if I sold him. Because you guys want him to become a legend, along with Rashika. So, I'm about to delay. Is he still going to have enough time to go through? I'm not sure. We might be cutting it a bit fine. Big offering by Munich now, even looking at Todd Cantwell. That tells you how well he's doing. But we are going to reject that deal for £31 million. He's going to go nowhere. Todd Cantwell has said he wants us to... Remain in Europe, Europa League or Champions League, and he'll stick with the project and stick with the club at the end of the season. Now, one hour to go. Let me just show you some of the top deals then. Pogba has gone to Barcelona, 102 mil. Laporte to Barca, 99 mil. So somehow, the club that's in nearly a billion dollars or pounds or whatever it is, euros of debt, have just spent 200 bills. Um, so, Marino as well has gone to Villarreal, 93 million. Wow. Osmian has gone to Man City. He's going to be dangerous. 91 mil. Schuller to Leicester. 84 mil. Leicester doing bits. Uh, Pau Torres to Latium. Wow. 71. I think that's that Lazio. And Sao Nunguez to Atletico de Madrid. Atletico de Madrid. Atletico Madrid to Everton. 64 mil. Haven't been impressed with Sao at Chelsea, to be honest, in real life. So, see what he does. Now he's moved to the Premier League full time. That is deadline day done. That, my friends is the episode done so the team looking good 
the league position looking good. Everything in this episode looking good. To end it by signing Conor Gallagher on a loan, I am extremely happy with. He'll probably come in ahead of Chowdhury, to be fair, who has only been signed on a contract for rotation, so he shouldn't be too upset. As I said, lots of money ready for January if we need it. Cash reserves are ready, but are you? I'll see you in episode three, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.